And <laughs> straight away, moving into action. Drawing away from the stumps and belting the ball hard. It's a single. They're off the mark. <laughs> Isn't that a classic? <laughs> First ball you face, you just back away. Have a go at this. Smash! <laughs> he doesn't get hold of it. But uh, that's the nature of this form of the game. And don't you love it? And McCullum jumping at the other end. Stroke the T20 century here against Zimbabwe in Sharjah. In 2016, a lot of these Afghanistan players have played their cricket in Sharjah. Kind of their home turf. Goes hard into the gap. That's four. Bludgeoned. Dismissive. What a good striker of the ball he is. That's the start you want. He slapped that. He absolutely slapped it. Look at the big fella. There's a lot of meat behind that too. He's got a good swing of the blade. And pierces the gap. Whack. Even taking the bottom hand off. This is going to be exciting if he lasts long. There he goes over the top for six. What a great connection. Hitting it against the spin and doing it so easily. Well, the Rajputs, you think of their coach, Herschel Gibbs. You can imagine. You can imagine what the message is from Herschel Gibbs. Made for him this sort of the gun. And every time we see a six. Oh, it'll run away, under edge. That is so frustrating for the bowler. Nawaz is trying to find an answer at the moment. He can't. All right, we'll keep mentioning it. The Pepsi catch, a million. PKR, a million to give away for any spectator who catches one of these sixes in the crowd. And at the end of it, if there are ten, that'll be uh, divvied up that million. Didn't enjoy the under edge. The striker was looking for another big six. Covers the stump, draws away, hits it over the infield, inside out drive for four. Putting on an exhibition of big shots there. 20 without a wicket, what an over for the Rajputs. Picture of confidence, hitting the ball sweetly, yeah. gives himself 10 out of 10 for that. Yeah, hey, what was he not equal? Was he, yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Number edge for four didn't make me too happy, but that one, oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's a strike force that they've gathered, Raj Boots, Evans and McCullum and Riley Russo from South Africa, Mustafa, Dunk from UK, Shazad from Afghanistan. It's a good unit. And then he's got that ability to come through. It doesn't have to be a vertical blade. He can come through horizontally, 45. He's got a hell of an eye. That's what you notice with him. He's just got this great eye. So, and McCullum's probably playing the right role here, giving him the single the way he's going oh what a shot over point for six here he goes again oh they're loving every bit of this what a beginning by the right hander well that's what i'm talking about have a look at his footwork here you just watch what he does with his feet to get himself into a really strong hitting zone for him this is the way he finds hitting the most powerful way for him look at his feet look how far away he is and he has smashed it for six the throw is at his end and he was a goner he had given it up he would probably score an a in in batting and keeping maybe struggle to pass the yo-yo test <laughs> just was not even in the picture, yeah. Hesitation, stutter, and he was not even caring about it. Uh, you talk about the cameo, and you're so spot on, Rami. I mean, he's out of the frame there. That would have been a good throw from Devsic, but they need 7.8 and uh, Shazad now.
26 from seven. Oh, wow! Can you believe it? It's a shovel over cover. And it's landed over the rope and he's loving it. I think he, he likes that. Shazad is setting himself high standards and he's achieving them quite effortlessly. Well, that's nearly him on the toe. That's nearly a Yorker. And he's been able to somehow pry that over cover and it go all the way. 32 from eight. Oh, that's gone for another six. I think... We're getting just a little bit tired watching this now because it's happening ball after ball. 50 partnership in no time. You're kidding me. 2.2 overs, 55 on the board. No, no, well, they've been told this is a T5 tournament. It's not T10, it's T5. And they're getting there. Five overs they've got. 2.2 overs, 55 no loss. And Shane Watson was looking at... 94 thinking where well, we've got a chance it's now just over five runs and over from here but don't stop now well it's not going to stop this is how he plays now there's a lot of confusion regarding the field for shazad what is happening feelers being ushered all over they need 15 really to stop him in the field 15 fielders required Pereira has gone for plenty Slow ball once again will find the fence. I tell you what, he'd be a great penalty scorer in hockey because he doesn't use his his shoulder, it's just wrist work and power. But yeah, he looks like a hockey player, doesn't he? Because it's all in that, that wrist jab. That I mean there's nothing that you'd say is attractive about some of these shots other than the power and the effect. And you don't have to look lovely, do you? Just they need effect. I mean, he has got an ability to get the ball away. Pereira goes for another sky up for six. Wow! Yeah, absolutely. It's job done almost. Just wiping his sword. And he's ready again. 48 from 11 balls. He gets these two. Someone beat this 50. It has to be the fastest 50 if he gets it. Here he goes. Shazar going for 50 off 12. He's got it in him. Yorker is hit into the gap and that's 50. Incredible stuff. Really is one hell of a batting effort from him. He loves it. The fans are loving it. The dugout is incredibly happy because they're seeing a sensational 50 here a man from afghanistan has conquered the field it's extraordinary this batting is extraordinary he gets himself into these positions that are not normal there's herschel gibbs at the back the coach he's saying acknowledge that that is in our first match of this tournament the most spectacular innings that we might witness the whole time. Fastest 50 in this form of the game. And there's that <laughs> hockey shot, there's that slip. Somebody stop that, no way! <laughs> Goodness gracious. 50 of 12 ball beating Oyen Moza from Afghanistan. What an entertainer he is. Got 100 in Asia Cup as well against India. As if it was a child's play. 17 away from target. Here he goes. Connection is outstanding. Almost hits the roof. Sixes galore. This is what the fans had come to watch. This man is not stopping. It's becoming too easy for him. 11 more runs required. But what a knock Shazad is playing. Dressing room's really happy, just smacked it on that occasion through mid -wicket. It doesn't really have to look at where the ball's gone. He hits it and he looks at the other way. Faster ball goes for another six. That's hit the roof, that's out of there. It's just incredible batting. This is unreal, this really is a plus for me.
90 in 3.5 overs and we're talking about a class bowling attack here being taken to the cleaners. Not really sure what you call this cricket actually. Not seen anything like that. That is amazing hitting. That was a quicker delivery. He tried to bowl quick. And he's seeing a ball like football, smashing it all around the ground. Wow. Yeah. That expression suggests everything. You're helpless. And you are at this gentleman's mercy. He's not going to stop. He's on 68 from 15 balls. Six four seven sixes. Quickest T10 50 in its history. Flights the ball, comes out of the track. That's another sky. That's another six. So what's new? That's done and dusted. Job done in four overs. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think they they are embarrassed.